Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder again, and I have another story for you, but this one, this one is a Bridezilla story. That's right. Get your tiaras ready. You have to watch this video while wearing a tiara. If you have a veil, go ahead and bring it out. Ladies, if you have your old wedding dress, go ahead and put it on. Just get in the theme for it. Okay, this one is... Sister is losing her mind over my hair being too long for her wedding. Can't imagine why this is in the Bridezilla subreddit. I have no ideas. So my sister is getting married soon, like a couple of months. I'm happy for her. The guy she's marrying is a cool enough person and they work well together. She asked me to be a bridesmaid in her wedding party and I accepted. Then she started listing her requirements, some understandable, like wearing longer sleeves to cover up my tattoos, I'm fine with that, but one of them was really weird and felt kind of pointed at me. Everyone in the wedding party must have shorter hair than the bride by at least six inches. Okay. What the hell? I need to save my thoughts for the end here, but what the hell? Now, my hair is super important to me. It's a significant part of my identity, and I really love it. It's knee length, and I take super good care of it. My sister's hair is to the middle of her back, so about two feet shorter than mine. She has longer hair than her friends, aside from one who agreed to cut her hair. I did not. My sister freaked out when I said I wasn't going to cut my hair. I offered to wear it up. She said that would distract people from her, and that she wanted all of her bridesmaids to wear their hair down. I assured her no one would be distracted because of my hair. Our mother agreed with me and tried to assure her as well. I just offered I offered to just be at the wedding instead of in the wedding party and she began throwing a temper tantrum eventually I just left and we could figure this out when she calmed down later on I get a call from her fiance who just says hey I know you don't want to cut your hair I'm sorry about that could you just do it for your sister it'll grow back <laughs> how this poor guy got suckered into making this phone call I have no idea but you know that he was just dreading he was dreading. He's dialing a number and he's like, I can't fucking believe I'm doing this shit. What What am I even doing? What What am I doing? Just, oh God, here. Okay. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. Hey, hi. <laughs> oh my God. But seriously, hair down to her knees. That is commitment. And obviously I told him I'm not cutting off like half of my hair for one day just to spend years growing it all back out. He sighed but said he understood and apologized but my sister is still being unreasonable. I'm annoyed by the whole thing and I really don't want to deal with her shit. If she's going to freak out about this, I worry what else she's going to freak out about. Edit! So I got another phone call from my soon-to-be brother-in-law. He was like, hey, she hasn't stopped crying for like 30 minutes. Can you please just cut your hair? I told him no and also said that I'd be dropping out as a bridesmaid and just going as a guest. He sighed again and basically said, yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. I'm sorry about this. At least he was nice about it, but she keeps sicking this poor man on me, LOL. Edit two, I got a phone call from the bride herself. She was crying and said, fine, I don't have to cut my hair or be a bridesmaid, but please wear it up. So at the very least, she came to some kind of compromise. I think she was expecting me to feel bad and to come around because when I said, nope, I'll just be a guest, then she began crying harder and hung up. I hope it's over. Probably isn't. I'll probably not hear the end of this anytime soon, but at least I can hope that she's given up. Okay, put yourself in the groom's shoes for a second here, and you've got to be like, number one, the phone call thing, like we talked about. After that, when he has to call again, it's like, what in the actual f*** have I gotten myself into? Oh my god. I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know if I want to marry this person. Normally, in wedding-related stories, my, my general take is, it's the couple's day. No one gets to tell them what to do. They decide everything. It's their day. They do what they want to do. There is an obvious line where that can be an abuse of power. And when you start pushing that agenda on other people to alter their appearance for you, you're the asshole. Like, what if she had said no bridesmaids can be taller than the bride? And someone's like, well, I'm like six inches taller than the bride. And you're like, you're going to have to have surgery. I'm sorry. We're going to have to have you take from your shin about, what are you, six inches taller? Seven inches. You have to have a height reduction surgery for the wedding because of the bride. Brozo here has to be like really taking this whole thing into consideration and, and thinking, is this really what I want to do? Do I really want to get myself into this because this kind of drama is going to happen again someday? I just don't know when or where. So we don't have an ask on scale assignment here because it's a bridezilla thing. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Yeah, we do. Um, OP, not the asshole at all for refusing to cut her hair. Where's the bride? Where does the bride in this story belong on the ask on scale? This guy has to be looking at this and thinking, whoa. I mean, I think there's this general approach from the groom where, where he expects a certain level of madness from the bride with a wedding. 
because it's the wedding. It's like the most important princess day for her. You also see what they're capable of. And I think that's the thing for him. He has to see what she's capable of here and think, wow, either I love this woman enough to just get over that and to accept it. But now I know never to screw up because this is what she's capable of. Or he's thinking, I've never seen this side of her before and it scares the shit out of me. Bride is all the way to one, 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 one. We've got a couple twos in here. We've got a couple of twos in here, which she definitely shouldn't have done it. Is she a terrible human? for asking someone to cut their hair two feet off of their hair. And I'm assuming that that she knew it was part of her identity, but it was a completely selfish request. We can definitely say that. Was it a terrible human request? Uh, look, for your wedding gift, I got you, uh, not both of you, just you specifically, Bride, a subscription to the Calm app. You might start using it. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and make the call here. Bridezilla is out of one. And Mr. Groom, unless you want to become Mr. Ascon One, suggest you think long and hard about what you're getting into here.